All right, back here in our area, we're seeing snow as well. This is a time lapse video from the Alert California camera on Saddle Mountain, just north of Pollock Pines at about 5,000 feet. I love these time lapse videos. Mm. So neat to see all that precipitation start forming and moving through. So meteorologist Eileen Javor tracking radar right now. What's happening now? Well, in the big picture, we've got that yeah. huge storm uh, off to the east. Some snow in Chicago and St. Louis. They have delays in New York at Kennedy Airport at three to four hours because of all the wind that is developing out ahead of this main line of storms that's now slicing through uh, Atlanta and through the uh, northern portions of Florida and Tampa has delays at the airport there. So that is a big storm affecting places off to the east in our neck of the woods. Yeah, one little wave passing through right now with a little light rain, a little light snow, but it's what's behind it that's up in the Pacific Northwest that will be coming down our way and bringing in a lot of snow to the Sierra come tomorrow. So looking at gray skies, a couple of light showers and heavy drizzle around the Sacramento region. Also a breeze too coming up from the southeast at nearly 10 miles an hour. 47 is the temperature in Sacramento and downtown. The roads are wet, but again, the rain is pretty light. Over the next couple of hours, the cloud should break apart some as this main band kind of moves through. And again, it's a broken line of rain and temperatures should make it only into the low 50s this afternoon. So you can see that spotty rain here on Doppler radar, mainly from Sacramento County south now towards the Stockton area out towards Farmington might be getting a little bit of rain very soon out towards Roseville and Cameron Park and Eldorado Hills. We have seen some light rain, some heavy drizzle up the hill. There has been snow. There was chains for a while up at Kingvale, but you can see they have been released. You can see the blacktop and that slushy inch or two is there as expected, but that's going to be winding down through the evening. Now overnight we might clear out briefly in the valley, but we'll wake up to cloudy skies in Sacramento and Stockton. But look at the snow filling back in over the Sierra by morning time tomorrow, and then it turns heavier by late morning, midday. This is 1:30 in the afternoon. We have heavy snow along Interstate 80, Highway 50, 88 in the foothills. It's likely rain below 2,500 feet and then very scattered rain expected for the valley during the day tomorrow. Not a solid all day rain for us, but up in the high country, it will stay snowy all the way through late afternoon and evening and finally taper off during the night on Wednesday night going into Thursday, setting the stage for a really cold morning on Thursday morning. So here are the weather impacts. Tomorrow is an impact day for the Sierra with that foot to about a foot and a half of snow falling at past levels. So certainly very tricky travel. You factor in some gusts around 30, 35 miles an hour. Some of that snow is just going to be blowing around. It'll be a very fluffy snow. We could even get some minor accumulations down to that 2,500, 3,000 foot mark. It's a possibility, say around Camino, we get an inch or two of snow and that would be later on in the afternoon, likely mixing in. And the valley rain, again, going to be very minimal. The wind will be gusting around 10 to 20 in the valley, but again, a lot higher gusts in the mountains as this system passes through. So the morning showers just lingering through the early part of this afternoon, and then tomorrow we have scattered showers in the valley, not a whole lot of rain under a quarter of an inch, maybe only even a tenth of an inch here and there. And then Thursday and Friday look dry. Thursday morning is that cold morning, low to mid thirties. And then we have the potential to see some showers on Saturday. The latest indications, it doesn't look like a big storm, but there might be enough uh, snow in the Sierra that we could see chain mm. controls. We'll have to fine tune those details going forward. But tomorrow's a day. If you can avoid travel in the Sierra, I'd do it. All right. And no